Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. By the way, you're welcome to Fuel Core Mathematics. Here we provide complete solution to problems. Now this is our equation one and this is our equation two. And we are going to solve this simultaneously, right? Now from equation one, which is x plus y equals 8. I can make x a subject by taking y to the other side. So x is equal to 8 minus y. Now, I can call this equation 3. Mind you, I will get back to this equation 3. Because it is from here, I will get the value of x. Now, substitute this equation 3 into equation 2. Our equation 2 is x, y equals 6. So, in place of x, I'm going to write 8 minus y, close this bracket, and then this y outside will appear, and the whole of this is equal to 6. Okay, so from here, what do we do? We are to open this bracket. So that we have 8 multiplied by y, that will be 8y. Then y times y, that will be y squared. And this is equal to 6. Mind you, I can rearrange this. So I have minus y squared, then plus 8y. This comes here to become minus 6. And this is equal to 0. Now, what again can I do? I can say, okay, let's remove this negative from here because we don't expect the first um, variable to be negative, right? So to remove the negative, it means that we should multiply everything by negative 1. So negative 1 times minus y squared will get y squared. Negative 1 times 8y, that will be negative 8y. Then negative 1 multiplied by negative 6 will get plus 6. Then negative multiplied by 0, it will still give us 0. So now we have a quadratic equation. Now, I don't want us to start thinking how to factorize what we have here. So we'll simply use the formula method. For the formula, since we are looking for y in the equation, we will now write y as the subject. So y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, how do you get your abc, right? Our a is a coefficient of y squared, that is 1. b is a coefficient of y, and that is minus 8. And c is the constant, which is 6. Now, let's put this, put these um, values into the formula. y will now be equal to minus minus 8 okay some students will write only one negative and let's go of one and that would be wrong because we have minus b before right so this negative is this one and then b itself is minus 8 right so in place of this b you're still writing minus 8 then plus or minus we have square root of negative um, b is 8 right so we put this in bracket and we square it. If you don't put this in bracket, then the negative here will have nothing to do with the square, with the power, okay? So we have minus 4 times a, a is 1, then c is 6. Now, the whole of this is over 2 times 1 because a is 1. Now, y is equal to... Negative, negative will give positive, so we write 8, then plus or minus, minus 8 to the power of 2 will give us 64, so we write our 64 minus, we have 4 times 1 is 4 times 6 is 24, then we divide the whole of this by 2. Now we continue so that y will be equal to 8 plus or minus. Now, do not find the square root of 64 yet, even though it is a perfect 
square. Do not find the square root until you're done with what you have under the square root sign. Now, 64 minus 24 will give us um, 40, right? So we write 40 over here. And then this is all over 2. Mind you, 40 here is not a perfect square. But we can bring out a, a perfect square. We can bring out um, a factor of 40 that is a perfect square, right? So we have y now to be equal to 8 plus or minus. Now 40 there is um, 4 multiplied by 10. Okay, then we divide this by 2. Let's continue. Okay, so y now is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have square root of 10 in here. And then the whole of this is over 2. Now, we can reduce this into a simpler form. So that y will be equal to 2 will go there. We have 4 plus or minus. The same 2 will go here and we have 1. So that means we're having root 10 over there. So from here, we can say that y is equal to 4 plus root 10 or 4 minus root 10. So these are the two values of um, x, I mean of y. Now, we need to know the value of x. Remember, this is just y, right? So to get the value of x, we go back to our equation 3. Okay, so this is our equation 3. x is equal to 8 minus y. So we're going to work from there. Okay, so this is our equation 3. I'm going to divide this. Here we have the same x equals 8 minus y. This is 8. Now, from here now, we write our x. We write 8, open bracket, for y. y is now 4 plus root 10. So we write 4 plus root 10 okay we are dealing with this value of y right so x will now be 8 minus 4 then negative times 4 is negative 4 then negative times negative times positive 10 i mean root 10 will give us some negative root 10 now x from here is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4 then minus root 10. So this is the value of x. Now let's bring the two values together. x is equal to 4 minus root 10. And y is equal to 4. y is equal to 4 minus root 10. Okay? So x is 4 minus root 10. And y is um, 4 plus root 10. Okay, it's plus over here. Now, let's go over to this. Here, we're going to use y as 4 minus root 10. So, our x will now be 8 minus, open bracket, 4 minus root 10. Close the bracket. Now, x here is equal to 8 minus 4. Negative, negative, we give positive. Then, we have root 10. Okay? Now, this means that x is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4. Then we have plus root 10. Now, let's get the two values. We have x to be equal to 4 plus root 10. And then y to be 4 minus root 10. Okay, I think that is it. Thank you for watching. If you love this, please subscribe to my channel.